welcome class. It's Vanessa, and thank you for meeting with me virtually on online. So our practice today will begin in a seated position. So go ahead and adjust your seat so you can see whether you want to sit in a cross-legged position or you sit on your ankles. If you feel a need to stretch your legs out in front of you, go ahead and go for it. Otherwise, we'll start to shift our attention into our bodies by inhaling and exhaling, sighing it out. Start to lengthen your spine, draw your shoulders down, chin is neutral, and then either close your eyes or keep your eyes open and focus on one point across the floor or the room. So three breaths here, inhale and exhale, breathing for the day you've had so far. Inhale and exhale for this moment. At any point, exhaling, sighing out. And then on the third round, inhale and exhale for the rest of your day. So we're cultivating a practice here to shift our attention to our bodies, noticing what's there, good or bad. And then we're using our breath as a focusing tool to bridge the physical, mental, emotional body. I'm emphasizing that exhale, sighing out to release that tension to build that bridge with our physical, mental, emotional bodies. You'll notice your belly expand, rib cage expand, exhale, release. So this is a class that offers a more meditative component to the yoga class or to the yoga practice. And notice that by paying attention to our breath, we use that breath to help us as we're working on our strength, our flexibility, and our balance. If you have other thoughts, that's not a problem. This is a practice we're cultivating, shifting our attention to our bodies. Notice your ribcage expand here. Notice your shoulders soften. One more intentional breath here in this seat. We inhale and exhale, sigh it out. So if you're seated in a, if you're seated on your ankles, go ahead and shift back into a cross-legged position. If your legs are stretched out in front, if it's comfortable for you, go ahead and sit into that cross-legged. So you're grounding your sit bones onto the floor, onto the ground. Those are the bones near your glutes. Once again, check in with the spine, lifting the spine. Notice your shoulders. We're going to lift our shoulders up towards our ears and then draw them down. A couple of rounds here. Lifting our shoulders up towards our ears, drawing them down. So you're placing some attention here to the tops of the shoulders. You're knitting those shoulder blades closer together as you're rolling those shoulders down. And your hands are anchored here pretty lightly. It doesn't have to be too firm on your knees. One more round. Shoulder shrug. Lift shoulders up towards your ears. Draw them down and release. On your following inhale, let's sweep our arms up overhead. Interlace our fingers, palms up towards the ceiling. Gentle stretch here. Throughout the length of the arms, Bring your shoulder blades a little closer together. Press your palms up towards the ceiling. Pull. Inhale. Exhale. And then stretch towards the left side of the room and hold here. Deep belly breath. Belly expands. Exhale. Back to center. And then intentional breath cycle here as we stretch towards the right side of the room. Hold. Your chin is neutral here. You can take your gaze down towards the floor. And then back to center. Let's release our hands. This time, interlace your fingers behind you. Lengthen your elbows. Lift your chin up towards the ceiling and hold. Invite that deep belly breath. Shoulder blades knit closer together. 
and then release. Following inhale, let's sweep our arms up overhead. Palms up towards the ceiling. This time, round your spine, tuck your chin towards your chest, palms shift towards the front. Hold. Release, ground those hands onto your knees. As we are practicing some meditation, we are practicing that body awareness. Let's take three breaths here. And by three breaths at your own pace, inhale and exhale. If you have trouble concentrating at all throughout the class, or even in this moment, just lengthen your inhale just a little longer than you're accustomed to. Same thing with your exhale, just a little longer than you're accustomed to. Perhaps as you move into that third breath cycle, inhale here, exhale, side out. And then release your hands. This time, cup your forearms with your hands. Hold here. You have the option of coming into a reverse prayer. I'll go ahead and demonstrate. You have the option of staying here, remaining here with, on your, with your forearms, or pressing your palms together and then lifting your hands up towards your mid-back. Hold. And then release. We're going to go ahead and shift into our cow and cat poses here to our tabletop as our, as our transition pose. Take your hands right beneath your shoulders and then check your knees. They're about hips width distance apart. Tops of the feet can be on the floor or you can also curl your toes. I think it's more comfortable with tops of the feet. You also have a little stretch there. Inhale, lift up into your cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, cat pose. Being purposeful here and pressing through your palms. Being purposeful and lifting your tailbone in that cow pose. And then rounding your spine into that cat pose. You're tucking your chin towards your chest. Getting that stretch in the upper back and neck. A couple of times at your own pace. Inhaling up. Exhaling, rounding your spine. A few more times with your breath, inhaling up into your cow pose, exhaling and rounding your spine into your cat pose. So you have two options. You can sync up your breath, so you're inhaling into cow, exhaling into your cat pose. But you can also remain in your cow pose for an extra breath, two or three. Same thing with your cat pose. The goal here is to notice what wants some, what desires some more flexibility, what wants to open up throughout the length of your spine to your neck, down to your tailbone. Inhale, exhale. Also check in with your palms, check in with your knees, check in with the tops of your feet. Intentional breath. Generous deep belly breath, whether you're in that cat pose or that cow pose, lengthen your inhale and exhale. One more cycle wherever you're at. And after that last round, we'll start to lift our right leg and then start to bend that right knee. Stack your hips to the right. So we're opening up a little bit more around the glutes and the hips here. Hold. You're still planting your palms and on the floor. Make sure your fingertips are spread wide. And then round your spine, right knee towards that right elbow, chin towards chest. Hold and hover here. And then second round out of three, lengthen that right leg, bend your knees, stack your hips and hold. Inhale. Exhale, round your spine, right knee towards your elbow, hover here, press through your palms. And then last round, lift that right leg, bend your knees, stack your hips and hold. Inhale. Exhale. And then release that knee onto the floor. So from here, opposite side, start to lift your left leg. Bend your left knee and then stack your hips towards the left. Press through your palms here, hold. And then round your spine. Left knee towards your left elbow, chin towards chest. Second round out of three. Lengthen your leg. Bend your knees, stack your hips. 
round your spine. Knee towards your chest, chin towards your chest as well. Lengthen your leg, bend your knees, stack your hips. And then round your spine, knee and chin towards your chest. You're rounding your spine. Release your knee. One cow and cat pose. Inhale up. Exhale. Round your spine here. Press through that left hand onto the floor. And then lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Hold here. Press that hand back. You're lifting your gaze up towards the ceiling and that creates strain for your neck. If you release your gaze down towards the floor, drop your hand, opposite side. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling, hold. And then release. We'll start to lift up into our first downward facing dog of the class. So remain here in this downward facing dog. Generous breath, inhale and exhale. Plant your palms firmly onto the floor. You're bringing your chest closer towards your thighs. You're lifting your hips as much as you can. You're lifting your heels as well. Hold the pose, generous breath, deep belly breath. And now start to take your gaze right between your hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. Plant that left hand on the floor, shin or thigh. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. So you have a generous bend to that left knee. And then you're lengthening that right leg as well. Hold. You're taking your gaze up towards the ceiling. You're holding the pose. But you're not holding your breath. You're in a twist here. Deep belly breath. Don't forget your breath in this pose. And then release. That right hand lands on your thigh, shin, or to the floor. And then you lift that left arm up towards the ceiling. Hold here. Deep belly breath, generous bend to that right knee. You can lengthen that left leg, intensify that stretch in the hamstrings, hips, glutes. And then release your hand. We're going to roll up slowly. Head comes up last. So we're practicing that sensation of slowing down. We're practicing that sensation, noticing that physical response as we slow down. And then we connect that with our mental and emotional body here as we lift to our mountain pose. Either hands framing your hips or take your hands right in front of your heart center. Take a breath. Exhale. Second cycle of breath. Exhale. You're drawing your shoulders down. You're noticing the ground beneath your feet. Eyes can either be closed or you can focus on one point across the floor or room. Generous inhale, exhale, side out. Build that bridge of the physical, mental, emotional body. It's a process that can be ambiguous, but it's a practice that assists us as we're working on our flexibility, balance, and strength. Inhale. Exhale. On the following inhale, we're going to sweep our arms up overhead into an extended mountain pose. So that extended mountain pose, both palms face each other, chest is open, feet, is, feet are grounded. Hold here, just one breath. Inhale, exhale, chest is open. You're deliberately being strong here as you release down towards the Floor, take your hands to your shins. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Relax your neck. Second round out of three. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Third round. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Fold down. Now your option here, you can roll up slowly or sweep your arms up overhead. Notice that different sensation here in the body. And then take your hands down in front of your heart center. Inhale here. Draw your shoulders down. Exhale. 
side out. Release your hands, inhale up. Extended mountain pose, palms face each other. You, have, you can have a little bend to your knees here. You wanna feel, you wanna stretch out throughout the arms, open up the chest. Inhale, and then exhale, fold down. Three rounds, inhale, halfway up. Exhale. Release, relax your neck. Second round of the three, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Third round, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Your choice, how you come up to standing. Make an intentional practice here. Anytime you're lifting up to standing, it's an opportunity to reset, to arrive to this present moment. Throughout the class, we're continuously practicing arriving to this present moment. Inhaling and exhaling, checking your body, checking your mind, checking your breath. We're gonna go ahead and prepare for three rounds of sun salutations. Take a moment to notice your heels, your toes, Notice that line of energy from the base of your spine to the top of your head. Fingertips are spread wide. If you're in mountain pose, hands framing your hips, or notice your palms press against each other if your hands are in front of your heart center. Generous inhale here. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, bend your knees, dive down to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release, step back into your plank pose, lengthening your legs out behind you. Watch for your elbows. Elbows remain close to your torso as you release down towards the floor. Tops of the feet on the floor, on your mat. Inhale up, upward facing dog, and then curl your toes, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Take your gaze between your hands. Watch or jump up to that forward fold. Sweep your arms up overhead. Hands meet in front of your heart center here. Inhale here, exhale, gather your breath. Feel free to move at either a slower pace or quicker pace than my instructions. Inhale up, exhale, fold down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release, step back into your plank pose, making sure your hands are beneath your shoulders. Legs are long. As a note, your legs can always be extended or you can come into supported plank pose with knees on the floor. Exhale, release down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a generous breath. Take your gaze right between your hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. Be intentional as you lift up to standing. You're grounding through your feet. You're Taking that energy down to your heart center. Inhale here, optional. Exhale, side out. Release your hands. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, bend your knees. Fold down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release that back plank fold. Elbows close to your Torso as you release down towards the floor. Inhale up. Lift up, downward facing dog. Take a moment here to ground in that downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale and start to lift that right leg. Bend your knees, stack your hips to the right, hold. And then release your foot back down towards the floor. Opposite side, lift your left leg, bend your left knee, stack your hips towards the left, hold. Release your foot down towards the floor, and then drop your knee, step back into your child's pose. We'll take a moment here in our child's pose to collect our breath, check in. If you ever have trouble concentrating, lengthen that inhale just a little longer than you're accustomed to. Lengthen that exhale 
just a little bit more. Knees either close together or towards the edges of your mat. Drop your belly towards the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Noticing that as we are present with our breath, we are welcoming ourselves, welcoming our experience. At any time, inhale and exhale, side out. Two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Intentional breath. You'll start to release your child's pose and lift up from a child's pose into your downward facing dog. Anytime in down dog, you're checking there with your palms, grounded on the floor, fingertips spread wide, hips lifted up towards the ceiling, and then lift your heels as well. Take a generous breath there, inhale and exhale, and then we'll go ahead and meet at our forward fold. Knees, are either generously bent or have a little, little bend to your knees. Once more, we'll work on our hips, glutes, and hamstrings. Ground that left hand onto the floor, shin or thigh, and then lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. You have a generous bend to that left knee, lengthen your right leg, it can be subtle, and hold, lifting your left arm up, Breathing into your side body, breathing into your lower body, specifically around the lower back and hips, glutes, and hamstrings, down to your calves. Don't forget your breath, and then release. Right hand on the floor, shin or thigh, lift your left arm up towards the ceiling, have a little bend or generous bend to that right knee, lengthen your left leg. Breathe. Throughout that side body, low, and then the lower body, hips, glutes, hamstrings down to the calves. Ground through your heel and then release. Your choice how you come up to standing. Make this your practice. Either sweeping your arms up overhead or rolling up slowly. Whatever it is that gives you balance right now. Either eyes open or eyes closed. Inhaling and exhaling for the day we've had so far. Inhaling and exhaling for this moment. And inhaling and exhaling for the rest of our day as a reminder Practicing the stillness is part of the more difficult parts of yoga. By welcoming our breath, we welcome our experience. Notice your heels, the length of your spine, draw your shoulders down, chin is neutral. One more intentional breath here, press inhaling here, exhale side out. And then wherever your hand position is, you can relax that position. We're going to go ahead and shift into a warrior two. So we'll take our left foot forward. So we'll take our left foot forward. You're going to check in with that knee. That's a, a 90 degree angle as you're simultaneously taking that right leg back. And this uh, right foot is in a diagonal. 
So our hips, there's a natural opening here in the hips. So it's okay here that as you bend your knees, that hip turns a little bit towards the right here. Now take your left forearm, stack it parallel over that left thigh, and then take your right arm out behind you. Now you're taking your gaze over your left hand. Remain and hold here. Take one breath from your heels all the way back up to the crown of your head. You can exhale side out, chest is open. Imagine a line of energy from one fingertip to the opposite fingertip. Glutes and quads are active. Release that right hand behind your thigh. Lift your left arm up. Stretching and opening throughout the side body and strengthening throughout the lower back as well. Hold. Lift your gaze up towards the ceiling and keep a bend to your left knee. Release back to warrior two. Inhale, exhale. And then release your elbow down to your thigh. Lift that right arm up towards the ceiling, lifting your gaze up towards the ceiling. Hold here. And then release your hands. Both hands pivot down, or both hands release down to frame that left foot. And now pivot your right foot so your right toes face the front of the room. As you're here, plant that right hand onto the floor. Optional if you want to release that knee onto the floor. Lift your left leg, left arm up towards the ceiling. Hold. Remain here. Inhale. Exhale. Hold the pose. You're lengthening that left arm up towards the ceiling. And then if your leg is extended, you can release that leg. Step back into your plank pose and then release down towards the floor. Inhale up into your upward facing dog. And then shift back into your downward facing dog. Palms on the floor, hips lifted. Take your gaze right between your hands, walk or jump up to that forward fold, your choice. Be intentional, your choice how you come up to standing. Either roll up slowly or sweep your arms up overhead. Grounding through your heels, lengthening your spine, drawing your shoulders down. Either hands framing your hips or hands in front of your heart center. We'll take a breath here. Invite one breath cycle where that inhale and exhale it's a little longer than you're accustomed to. Eyes either open or eyes closed. If your eyes are closed, you'll start to gently open your eyes. We'll go ahead and shift into our warrior two, opposite side, right foot forward, left leg steps back. Left foot is in a diagonal. And there's a 90 degree end to your 90 degree bend to your knee. Right arm over that right thigh, and then take that left arm out behind you. Take your gaze forward over your, your right hand. Chest is open, arms are strong, legs are grounded. Notice your heels grounded onto the floor. Hold here. Take one breath, breathing from your heels all the way up to the top of your head. And then release that left hand behind your thigh. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Right arm lengthens. Rib cage expands on that deep inhale. Keep a bend to that right knee and then release. Warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale. Hold the pose. Inhale and exhale here. And then release that elbow right on top of your thigh. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale. Release both hands. Both hands frame that right foot, pivot that left foot so your toes are facing the front of the room. Your choice, keeping that left leg long or release that knee down towards the 
floor. Round that left palm onto the floor. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling, lifting that right, that right hip. Hold here. Deep belly breath. And then release your hand back down to the floor. Step back into your plank pose. Lift your core up towards the ceiling. Quads are active. Release down towards the floor. Inhale up. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Lift up into your downward facing dog. Lift your left leg. Bend your knees. Stack your hips. Chest moves towards your thigh. And then release that left foot down towards the floor. And then opposite side, lift that right leg, bend that right knee, stack your hips towards the right. Inhale, exhale, release your foot back down towards the floor and then shift back down into a child's pose. Noticing whether you prefer arms stretched out in front. That's one version of our child's pose. Another version of your child's pose is to release your hands, so backs of the hands are framing your feet, and then you drop your shoulder, you roll forward, forehead on the floor. Let your breath collapse, meaning let that breath be whatever it needs to be right now to support you. Notice that part of this holistic practice, we appreciate those moments when our bodies are active just as much as we appreciate those moments when they're still and then relaxed. Both inform our bodies. Inhale. And exhale, we'll be here for another five breath cycles or so. You don't have to count the breath. It's more of an estimate. It takes enormous practice and concentration to be aware of one breath to the next breath to the next breath. Appreciate your cultivating a practice it's not a matter of being good or bad. It just is. It's an opportunity to notice your learning edges. Invite an intentional breath. Inhale and exhale. You can start to release your child's pose by grounding your hands onto the floor, lifting up into your downward facing dog, kicking your gaze between your hands. Walk or jump up to that floor. Hold your choice how you lift to standing. Make it intentional. Anytime we're lifting to standing, it's a great opportunity to arrive to this moment. Appreciate your breath. Welcome your experience. It's continual practice throughout the class to arrive to this moment. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and take a breath. Inhale here, exhale. Side out. And then release your hands. I'm gonna go ahead and focus on some balance. So first, the two-legged balance. We're gonna lift our arms up overhead, interlace our fingers, palms up towards the ceiling. And then lift your heels halfway or all the way up. Now keep your gaze steady here, focusing on one point across the floor or room. Drawing your shoulders down. We have a tendency to crunch up our shoulders next to our ears. Draw them down. Notice you're activating around glutes and quads and core. 
Notice any changes and fluctuations with your breath. And now release your heels. Let's dive all the way down for it. Fold and then three rounds. Inhale halfway up. So your back is flat as you inhale up. Exhale. As you fold down, your neck is relaxed. Second round out of three. Exhale. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, release your choice how you come up to standing. We'll start to mentally prepare here for our tree pose. Hands in front of our heart center, four hands framing our hips. One grounded breath here, noticing our feet on the mat, on the floor. You'll start to take that right foot to rest right against your ankle. Notice how you're already activating balance just by that right foot carrying most of the weight here. You can start to lift that foot up towards your ankles, shin. You can lift your foot higher using your hands. Feel free to wobble in and out of this position. Different expressions here with your hands, your arms. You can keep your hands in front of your heart center, come into this lotus. Or release your hands, framing your hips. You can lift your arms up into cactus arms. Lift your arms up overhead. It's a good practice here. Keeping a steady gaze and then keeping an even breath. Sometimes as we balance, we forget our breath. Our breath might become more shallow. Inhale here. Notice that as we practice the stillness, there's a lot of fluctuations in the body, a lot of shifts. It's a good metaphor that even as we practice stillness, there's still a lot of chaos. There's still a lot of movement. And invite a steady breath. Release your hands, release your foot, two-legged balance, lift your arms up overhead, palms up towards the ceiling, three breaths, we inhale and exhale. Noticing that support of that right foot on the ground, both feet, or at least the ball of our feet right now. One more breath, inhale, exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Second round, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Third round, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release your choice, how you come up to standing. Prepare yourself mentally for your tree pose on the opposite side. At any point, inhaling here, exhaling, sighing it out. And then we'll go ahead and start to shift that left foot to rest right against our ankle. Remain here. Noticing that subtle balance there. You can take that foot higher. Once again, make that expression with your hands and arms. Be an expression of how you're experiencing yourself right now. Whatever supports you in this pose. Once again, noticing that paradox of stillness and movement in this pose. Keeping a steady breath, a steady gaze.
Inhale. Exhale. As a reminder, always feel free to step in and out of this pose. And release. Let's pedal your feet back and forth just a couple of times there. Last round, two-legged balance. Lift our heels halfway or all the way up. We lift our arms. We keep our gaze steady. We draw our shoulders down. Inhale, exhale. Notice your second cycle of breath and third. And release your heels. We're going to bend our knees into our chair pose. Contrast that balance into this very grounded pose. So here your feet are about hips width distance apart. You have a good bend here to your knee. You're lifting your tailbone. Palms face each other. Activate quads and glutes. Ground through your heels. Chest is open. Deep belly breath here. One more breath. Exhale, fold down to your forward fold. Remain here, relaxing your neck. Cup your elbows with your hands. Shift and rock towards the left and towards the right. So you want to make sure your torso is totally relaxed. You're grounded through your heels here. Neck is soft. And the weight of your torso helps intensify that stretch throughout the hamstring. Hands to your shins, inhale halfway up. And then exhale, release. We're gonna go ahead and transition to sit in our cross-legged position. Hands on your knees. Take any alternative seat if that supports you right now. And then let's inhale here. Let's exhale. Learning to slow down, to observe and check in what's going on to the body or what's going on in the body is a skill. We inhale and we exhale. Noticing our sit bones on the floor, our shoulders relax. Notice the quality of your breath. Notice any thoughts you may be having without judgment. And then we'll go ahead and invite a much needed collective sigh. So we'll inhale here, exhale, sigh out. Start to drop your chin towards your chest. Notice that stretch in the back of the neck. Lift your chin, take your gaze over your right shoulder. And then over your left shoulder. Back to center, lift your chin up towards the ceiling. Back to center, bring your shoulders up towards your ears, draw them down, drop your chin towards your chest, and then roll your head from one shoulder to the next. Either in a full circle, or just half a circle. You can do a crescent. Take a moment here to open up and release tension throughout the neck and shoulders and upper back. Now we'll remain here for about 10 breath cycles. You don't have to count the breath. It's more of an emphasis that will be here for some time. Allow yourself to deepen, to release, to notice those sore spots. Especially when we're in front of our computer so much, especially in this time, we have a tendency to shift forward, crunch up our shoulders, store tension in the neck. 
Take an opportunity here to self-care, neck, shoulders, upper back. And then if you do prefer to focus or practice meditation, that's always an option for you as well. That means you would bring your head back to a neutral position and then notice your breath. Whether you're doing neck rolls or you're meditating, you're inviting a self-aware breath, meaning you're observing your breath. And that breath is there to assist you to bridge the physical, mental, and emotional body. Notice your breath. Rib cage expands, belly expands. If you're still working on your neck roll, start to very slowly, mindfully at your own pace, come back to a neutral position. Here we'll practice our three part breath. So this breath is here to assist you to slow down and observe not only the present moment, but to appreciate and express gratitude to what has supported you thus far and what will support you. So we'll inhale and exhale for the day we've had so far. We'll inhale and exhale for this moment. And then we'll inhale and exhale for the rest of our day. Eyes closed or open. Welcome your breath, welcome your experience. We'll go ahead and transition. You feel free to shift out of the pose. We're gonna go ahead and lengthen our legs out in front of us. Your feet can either be flexed for more, for more stability or you can soften your feet here. We're going to lift our arms up, palms up towards the ceiling. Make sure you have room behind you to lay down. Shift your chin towards your chest so you protect the back of your neck as you slowly release and then find a point to hover. Hold that point. Your feet can either float off the floor or you can rest your feet on the floor. We're activating quads, glutes, and core. Any shaking is fine. And then release your head back. And very purposely soften here. Upper back, down to your lower back, down the length of your legs. We'll take a collective inhale here, exhale. And then as you finish and complete that exhale, bend that right knee, take your hands to grab that knee, and then around your spine, forehead towards your knee, drop your head back. Simultaneously flex that left foot towards the front, round your spine, and knee towards Forehead towards your knee, drop your head back. Last round, we'll remain there, making sure you're stretching and opening through the lower back all the way up to your neck. Hold here. You're activating your core strength. 
and then drop your head back. And now opposite side, bend your left knee, grab that knee with your hands around your spine. Two more rounds. Flex that right foot towards the front of the room. And then on that third round, remain there, an extra breath. Inhale here, exhale. Second cycle of breath. Drop your head back, bend both knees. Feet float off the floor and then rock to the left and to the right. You wanna massage here throughout the lower back and the mid back. Start to take your hands to grab your feet. And then from here, you have some liberty in lengthening both legs as much as you can. You can lengthen one leg more than the other. You can bend both knees generously. Anything here to get a deep and final stretch here from your toes and ankles down to your calves, hamstrings, glutes. You can even massage around the lower back and the mid back by rocking to the left and to the right. Remain here, a few breaths. Inhale, exhale, about three cycles of breath. Second cycle of breath. And third cycle of breath. Start to release your legs, and then we'll go ahead and transition into our final resting fold. You can lengthen your legs out in front, palms face up towards the ceiling. However, if there's one more pose you need to feel more complete for the class, take a moment with that last pose. As you shift into Shavasana, do notice that in yoga, this is the pose that we hold the longest. It's a pose to integrate your practice. The strength of the flexibility, the balance. And also to integrate the more holistic aspects of the practice. the physical, mental, emotional body. In this pose, there is no expectations. In this pose, we learn the wisdom of doing nothing. Softening your forehead and jaw down to your neck shoulder, and then down the length of your arms, softening the palms and the fingertips. Notice that our hands tend to grab and clench so much. It's a good time to notice that sensation of letting go with our hands. Soften the upper back, mid back, and lower back. And then down the length of your legs, softening around the hips, behind the knees, down to your ankles and toes. Observe any thoughts, any sensations without judgment, just notice.
we'll start to shift our attention back to our breath. Inviting a generous and leisurely inhale and exhale. You can restore some movement to your fingertips and your toes. You can invite a full body stretch, lifting your arms up overhead, interlacing your fingers, palms stretch towards the back of the room, you point your toes. You can remain laying on your back and or you can also turn your body to the left or to the right, allowing you to remain heavy and relaxed. Once again, returning to that generous and leisurely breath. It's a very particular type of breath. Notice your inhale and your exhale. And then after another breath cycle, you can start to slowly make your way up to your seat. Any you cross-legged position on your ankles like I am demonstrating right now. Or if you need to stretch your legs out, go ahead and go for it. You wanna move slowly and you wanna move with integrity. So make those little adjustments that you can do in your body to show that extra bit of awareness you've been practicing throughout the class. Whether it's lengthening your spine just a little bit more or drawing your shoulders down. See what works with you, if you prefer to keep your eyes closed or if you prefer to keep your eyes open. We'll take our hands to our heart center. And then noticing that as we appreciate our breath, we welcome our experience, we'll express gratitude through an intentional breath cycle. Let's inhale here and exhale. And in the tradition of yoga, the highest in me sees the highest in you. Namaste.